Uh, making a mat. Okay. All right. So today we're going to make a mat shape. Just very simple. Got this mat shape, this super that sort of wipes on. And wipes off. So breaking it down, as you can see, it sort of comes out from the middle and as it's coming out, it's changing transparency. So it's going from transparent to opaque. Um, so we're gonna recreate that. So what I'm gonna do is um, load up our training version of that. So I can screw around with it. I'm going to create a fill of this super. I'm just gonna do mark in, mark out, and do a video mix down of that one frame. And I'm gonna grab that one frame. I'm just gonna do a freeze frame. Making sure that I'm using both fields because there's a graphic. If you don't do that, you'll get jagged edges with graphics. And I'll just do it for 15 seconds. Okay, so that is our super fill. This is just a freeze frame, doesn't do anything. All right, now we're gonna go into marquee. And do a new title. We're gonna draw a shape that replicates that. And we pick a box and draw just a white box. And we go up to object and corner radius so that we can round the edges off like the matte shape that was used in the example. That gives us nice round edges. Center it up a bit. And that's it. Get out of marquee and save that. So that's our mat. Alright, so I'm going to make a new sequence. So that we'll start working with this mat and extract what we need from it. So this is a mat sub. Save one. Um, I'll just lay down 15 seconds of this super. Um, I don't want to remove the alpha channel because it'll reveal a fill which is dilated um, because Marquee does that so it gives you a nice clean edge on your supers and your text. So to retain that shape, I'm just going to flatten that clip and do a video mix down. Okay, and I'm going to do a mat sub 2, load mat sub 2 up, load the video mix down up, lay that down. So now I've just got a video mix down of that mat shape. There's nothing on it, it's just a flat, flat clip. Um, and now we're going to animate it. So um, we only need this to be 5 seconds long, so let's get rid of the end of that. And I'm going to animate it, so I'm going to use 3D Warp. So using 3D Warp we can do two things. We can adjust the size of it and squeeze it in and squeeze it out. And we can also adjust the transparency at the top and bottom of the super, the start and end of the super. So we're going to effect mode, add keyframe, start and end. Over here I'm just going to do some timing, so I'm going to go forward 12 frames, add a keyframe, go to the end, minus 12, enter, add a keyframe. Select the first and last keyframes, come across to scaling, turn off this fixed aspect because I just want to affect the X axis, and we're going to squeeze it, squeeze the super down. So now it animates on, and it animates off. So the only thing we need to do now is, while we've still got the first and last keyframe selected, is to go down to foreground and turn down the opacity. So now the effect of that is it looks like it mixes up, holds, and then wipes off and mixes off. Okay, so that's all I want from that. So I need to flatten that because I don't want any information or effects on that because we're going to apply a matte key effect to that and use that as the alpha channel. All right, so now we've got our mix down. It's just a flat clip. We can go back to our training video. 
um, and I'm going to just lay down some football as a background. And the next layer is going to be my fill. And let's go in there and let's make that five seconds. And we just find our fill, which is labeled super fill. And we mark that up, go to the next layer. And I just want to relabel this one clearly that that is my super map. Um, load that up, edit that on. Not by one frame for some reason, but. And we just need to apply a matte key effect. So that's under key, matte key. It's the wrong way around. And we just invert the key. And that's it. I'm going to do a render. And then when we play it back, it will wipe on and look like it mixes up at the same time. And I'll jog through that in a second. So it dissolves, looks like it dissolves up as it wipes and does the same thing and it goes off.